Hello and welcome back everyone. In the previous session we were having the discussion related to the contacts. In the previous session we have already seen in order to define the contact we will need the target and the contact surface. The objective of this session is to get us familiar with the different types of contact. Let us say here I have the two surface, surface 1 and the surface 2. When the two surface comes in contact they exert a forces on each other. These forces can be resolved into the two component. One is the normal force and other one is the tangential force. Because of these forces the components may deform or it will get into the motion. These forces at the contact interface is commonly called as an contact forces. And once we take the distribution of these forces over the area into account we will get something called as an contact pressure. So at the end of the day whenever we have the contact in our analysis we have to keep our focus onto these two forces. One is the normal force and other one is the tangential force. Now though there are the different different types of contact, at the end of the day, all the type of contact have been classified based upon how the normal force and the tangential force is going to behave. So let us quickly go through the types of contact and then we will go into the details about this type. In ANSYS mechanical we have the total 5 type of contact. Bonded, no separation, frictionless, rough and the frictional. Out of this 5 contact, first 2 contact are also known as a linear contact and the remaining 3 contact they are known as a non-linear contact. Now why they are called as a linear and non-linear we will see in the short period of time. Let us try to understand what is the exact difference between this type of contact. So first let us take a look onto the bonded contact. If we have the bonded contact then the two surfaces will behave as they are glued together. In case of any type of contact we are going to make the distinction based upon three factor. First one is the penetration, second one is the separation and third one is the sliding. So in case of bonded contact there is no penetration allowed between the contact and the target. Second there is no separation allowed between the contact and target and also the no sliding between the faces or the edges. The most typical example where we can use the bonded contact is the glued structure, bolted connection and adhesive connection. So let us understand what exactly is the penetration, separation and the sliding. So in terms of separation, in case of bonded contact there is no separation allowed. That means the contact surface cannot separate from the target surface causing the contact to open. So there is no separation allowed. The penetration essentially indicates the contact surface moving into the target surface. So again this is not allowed. And last, in case of bonded contact there is no sliding allowed between the contact and the target surface. So keep this three factor in mind irrespective of the type of contact, separation, penetration and the sliding. So let us move on and see the no separation contact. In case of no separation contact there is no penetration allowed, no separation allowed but the frictionless sliding between the faces or edges is allowed. The most typical examples where we can use the no separation contact is the well lubricated surface and the magnetic levitation application such as strain transportation. In the diagram also you can see the separation is not allowed, the penetration is also not allowed but the frictionless sliding is allowed. So the contact and target surface can slide onto one another. Third type of contact that we have is known as a frictionless contact. In case of frictionless contact also there is no penetration allowed but here the separation can happen without any resistance. And in terms of sliding here also the frictionless sliding between the faces or edges is allowed. So graphically also you can see here the separation is allowed. That means contact surface can move away from the target surface causing the contact to open. But at the same time the penetration is not allowed. And since the name of the contact itself is frictionless here the frictionless sliding can happen without any resistance. Typically we will use the frictionless contact in case of well lubricated surface also. Now let us see how the rough contact will work. In case of rough contact also the penetration is not allowed but here the separation without resistance is allowed. And at the same time the no sliding is allowed for the rough contact. Graphically also you can see here the separation is allowed that means contact can leave the target surface but the penetration is not allowed and the rough contact does not provide any type of sliding. So the sliding is not allowed between the contact and target. 
The last and most important type of contact we have is known as an frictional contact. About 90% of the contact can be modeled using the frictional contact. But again, the frictional contact is little bit expensive. In case of frictional contact, there is no penetration allowed between the contact and target surface. But at the same time, the separation can happen between the contact and target without any resistance. Third important aspect which separates the frictional contact from rest of the type of contact is the sliding. Frictional contact allows the sliding once the tangential force exceeds the frictional force. Most typical example of the frictional contact is the gears interacting with one another. Graphically also you can see here the separation is allowed. So contact surface can leave the target surface. At the same time there is no penetration allowed between the contact and target. In case of frictional type of contact if the applied tangential force exceeds the frictional force then the contact can slide over the target surface. I hope you have understood the difference between the different different types of contact and at the same time you are getting interest in the type of contacts. Let us try to summarize all this type of contact in a single slide. Before going into the detail understand one thing. In case of all the type of contact we are going to compare only three things. Whether that particular type allows separation, penetration and sliding that's it. So in case of bonded contact it does not allow anything. So separation, sliding, penetration not allowed. So it is just like a glued structure. In case of no separation contact as the name suggests here the separation and penetration is not allowed. But at the same time the contact surface can slide over the target surface and that particular sliding will not have any resistance. In case of frictionless contact here the penetration is not allowed. But at the same time the contact surface can slide and separate from the target surface. Moving on to the rough contact it is similar to the frictionless contact but here the sliding is not allowed. Only thing that can happen between the contact and target is the separation. And the last and most important type of contact is the frictional. In case of frictional the penetration is not allowed. Here the separation can happen and the contact surface can slide over the target surface provided the tangential force exceeds the frictional force. While performing the analysis where contacts are in play keep this slide in mind. Not only that, even before interview you can take a look onto this slide. So I hope you have enjoyed this session and you have understood the concept related to the types of contact. From the next session on we will see the examples related to the nonlinear analysis. Till then take care goodbye.